I love so many of the teachings of Jesus. He loved to tell stories to explain important truths about life. And I don't know how you're doing right now. Uh, we're in the middle of this pandemic and people are responding in so many ways, understandably. Well, the news uh, makes us feel this weight, this heaviness, M maybe desperation on wh what is it I should be doing in, in a time like this. And I, I love how Jesus tells a story and makes an analogy with life. And one of my favorite times he does this is when he calls on his followers, his disciples, to be light. And it's a beautiful picture for us. I want to read it and then talk about it briefly. We, we find it in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5. And Jesus says this to his followers. Now remember, they're fishermen, tax collectors. They probably don't feel like the light of the world, but that's what Jesus calls them to. Matthew 5, 14. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. I love that picture. Think about what Jesus is saying. He says, you, you would never be in a house that's, that's dark, light your lamp, and then put it under a, a basket. You, you wouldn't put a basket over it to, to block the light. No, you'd actually take it and put it up on a stand so it could illuminate as far as possible. Light up as much of the room, as much of the house as it possibly could. Jesus is saying, that's what I ask of you. You are a light into the world. And, and right now we could make the same analogy. It feels like there is a lot of darkness. Uh, people are um, struggling. They, they're feeling isolated. And light is so important right now. And Jesus says, that's what I'm calling you to be. And we may not feel equipped. <laughs> we may not know exactly what to do. But as followers of Jesus, he gives us his spirit, his guidance, his wisdom, and literally his word to help us understand what it means to be light. So for you, maybe it's making extra phone calls each day to check on family members, to check on someone you know that might be isolated. It might be writing a letter. It might be doing something sacrificial to drop off a, a gift to someone who probably is feeling pretty lonely right now. But Jesus says that as we do these good deeds, as you become light, people will see in you something that causes them to give glory, to give thanks to God. What a beautiful picture. So I ask you, I call on you just to think about what it means today to be light. Find a way today and tomorrow to be light into this world. If the world ever needed light, it certainly needs it now. Let's pray. Lord God, what a humble calling that Jesus asks us to be light, light into the world. And so, Lord, show each of us what that looks like today for us. As we walk forward, help us be your light. Help us carry burdens. Help us do deeds that will bring glory to you. Thank you, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and have fun. Be encouraged as you become light to the world today.